Assalamu alaikum and welcome everyone to this project video. I'm gonna go over how I made my sub count and you can also for your channel. Now the microcontroller in use is going to be an ESP32. This is different to an Arduino. This has the capabilities of Wi-Fi, which is what I was specifically after when I chose a microcontroller for the project. Now for the components, you're going to need an ESP32 and ideally you also want to use an LCD display with an I2C module and four female to female jumper wires. But I do not have four female to female jumper wires, so I'm going to use eight female to male jumper wires to make my connections. You can also do this without an I2C module on the LCD display. However, you're going to need a ton of wires and it's going to look quite messy. And the ESP variant that I have only makes use of a band of 2.4 gigahertz. Now this is going to be limiting in the sense that I'm only going to be able to produce this from my hotspot from my phone. From my knowledge on the market, there isn't an ESP32 that makes use of 5 gigahertz, which means you can't use your Wi-Fi if your Wi-Fi is based on 5 gigahertz band. Now the way the ESP32 works is that if you're powering it from an external source, you can use the VIN pin, the voltage in pin as voltage out of 5 volts which means you connect the VCC of the I2C to the ESP32 VIN pin. Now to ground the pin on the I2C you'll find a ground pin to the right of the ESP32 VIN pin. Now like the Arduino the ESP also has an SDA and SCL pin which are the pins D21 and D22 respectively. Now to make the connection between the ESP and the computer you want to make sure that you have a USB micro B cable and that is it for our connections. Now, before we actually go into the code, we have to tell the Arduino that we're going to be using an ESP32, so we're going to have to download the drivers for it. Now, to do that, you're going to have to go to your preferences, which can be accessed from files, and you want to focus on something called additional board managers URL. Now, depending on the link that you paste here, you will get access to different boards. I'm going to have the same link that I'm using that will give you access to the ESP32 driver. And once you paste it, you just want to press OK. Now, next, you actually want to download the driver, so you want to go to your tools, you want to go to board, and then click on board manager. It's going to open up another window. You want to wait for it to load a little bit, and then you want to type in ESP32. Once it's done searching, it's going to give you an option to install. You want to select on the latest version. It's going to be by Espress Systems. Now that's how you know it's the correct one. Now, as you can see, we're using a ton of libraries and I'm not going to go into any of them, but in order to use them, you will have to download them and put them in the libraries folder. And I will have links to libraries within the script as comments so they don't interfere with the code. However, you can just click on them and they will get you to the page. You're going to need four different things that are going to be specific to you. The first two are going to be the internet connection. The SSID is going to be the name of your Wi-Fi connection and the password variable is going to be your password of the Wi-Fi connection. And you want to make sure that both of them are put within the quotation marks. Now, next, we have something called hashtag define API key. Now, this is going to be the API of your channel. And you want to click on the link on the same line and it will take you to a website where you can get it. And since you're not going to have any projects, you want to go to your top right, you will find a small bar. You want to click on the arrow and you want to click on new project. You want to go through the process of naming it. And you want to press create. Now it's going to take a bit in order for it to be created. Now once it's done, you want to click on something called enable APIs and service. It's going to take you to another page where you want to search for YouTube API. And you're going to be presented with multiple options, but you're going to be after YouTube Data API V3. And after clicking on it, you want to enable it. It's going to take some time to load, but once it's done, you want to click on credentials. And on the upper bar, there's going to be an option called create credentials. You want to click on API key. It's going to say creating API key. You want to wait for it until it's done loading. And once you're done, it's going to present you with your API key. And if you close it, you'll be able to access it under the API keys section. And just press show key. And once you're done, you want to copy and paste it into the variable API key. Now to get the channel ID, you want to go into YouTube and click on your channel. You want to go into link and you want to copy paste everything that's after the channel and forward slash into the quotations of the channel ID variable. And the last thing is to double check that you're using the correct I2C address. Now beforehand, you want to go to where you downloaded the Arduino software. So you want to open it up and click on libraries. Now maybe if you download from GitHub, it doesn't put everything into one folder. So what you want to do is make a folder prehand just so that it doesn't get disorganized. You want to make sure that you do not expose your API key because if it does get into the wrong hands, it may cause you some trouble. Now, once you made sure that you have the correct board and the correct port, you want to go and upload the code and it does take some time. So you will have to wait. If nothing shows up to your LCD display, you just want to unplug it and plug it back in. And you also want to make sure that your Wi-Fi connection is active. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. And if you wish to get closer to the community that I'm trying to build, my Discord is going to be linked in the description where you can also access the code that we went through today or ask me any questions regarding what we did. All the links will be either found within the script or in the Discord.